Well, hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about Google Play in-app billing in AI2 Live Complete. AI2 Live Complete is an extension of MIT App Inventor that has new features and, and enhancements. One of the new components that has recently been implemented in AI2 Live Complete is Google Play in-app billing. Using, the, using this component, you can sell uh, digital contents from right from inside your app. For example, you can sell uh, game levels or portions or premium services and features uh, from, from your application. You can use the, the, uh, this component to sell products such as uh, in-app products like one-time uh, billing or even subscriptions. This subscription can actually be, uh, this subscription of products can actually be set up right from the dashboard of the um, Google Play and you can, once you select your, uh, your application, you can go and sell products and put, for example, uh, a price on it. For example, here is like uh, some test products that I have set up and there is even subscription. This subscription is, for example, a monthly subscription. That means it will be recurring to the users. Let's see how this actually works. So this is AI2 Live Complete Interface. In there, uh, if you uh, notice under the monetization, among other components such as banner ad and interstitial ads, there is a component called in-app billing. In-app billing is a non-visual component that once you drop it on your application, uh, it gives you ability to actually sell digital contents right from your app. So this is the definition for the uh, in-app billing. Okay. So once you once the in-app billing is actually added, you will notice if I click on the component right here, there is license key. The license key can be added in uh, in your uh, application right there. This license key is actually retrieved from the dashboard right there. So once you actually has an AP, you have a an app you can get the license key and add it to your application let's go into the um, that's all actually that you have to do for your uh, uh, for your application once you once you drop the component you go into the blocks and in the blocks you will notice that there is a in-app billing uh, component there once selected you will notice that there are some event blocks such as billing error billing initialize or once a product has been purchased or you can get the purchase history uh, of the uh, for the users you can consume a product that means you can allow a, a same product be purchased over and over again or you can get the purchase listing details uh, so th there are many different uh, 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 blocks and events right here so let's take a look at some of these so let's go to the designer. What I have done is that actually I have taken and uh, created a sample app right there that you can see. Uh, these are the products that I should, these are the products that are available for my app, for example. These products, uh, I can sell these products through the app, uh, sort product one or subscription, for example. These are the products that have been set up right here in the Google Play. You'll notice that there is like subscription 01, sort 01, or P01. Going back to AI2 Live Complete. So uh, this is a spinner component that I have right there. Uh, under the spinner, once I select it, you can see these uh, items that I have added there. So let's say that I want to select this uh, sort. And now I'm going to click on this purchase item. The purchase item, once I click on it, you'll notice that it actually uh, pulls the information because right now I'm at uh, I'm doing a test. It's not going to uh, It tells me that this is a test order. Here is the price of it and I can click on the buy to actually purchase the item and You notice if I click on the buy right now So it asks me for the password so it has interaction with uh, with Google so it lets me add in the password and I'm going to add in the password right here So it says payment has been done successfully. So and it returns you back to your screen. So let's look at the blocks. So this is the uh, this is the 
what I had on the designer was actually this purchase item. This is the one that I was clicking on, this purchase item right there. So if you look at the blocks for that, so BTN purchase item, if I expand this block, all I had to do was to actually start the purchase. This is the whole thing. This is the, everything that you need. Just one block and it's going to start a transaction for you and you can uh, purchase the item. Once the item has been purchased, there are um, event blocks. So one of the event blocks is uh, this block right here for in-app billing and it's called product purchased. So the product purchased gets automatically triggered when the product was purchased. So if I click on this one right here and product purchased, product purchase is going to get uh, triggered once the purchase has been done and uh, you can, for example, unlock, uh, you can unlock uh, features that have been implemented in the application. For example, let's say that you have one app that is like a light version and once the user purchases the product, you can unlock features and make it a pro version. So there's no more need to actually have two different versions of your app. You can have one version and, and, and just unlock it. So let's look at some of the other features that are available here. So for example, um, I want to get um, the purchase listing detail for this product right here. So if I click on this, you'll notice that uh, this is a list picker that I just uh, interact with Google Play and get the information. So you notice that there is like product ID and these are the description that were just pulled off right from uh, right from here, from Google Play. So you see, this is the same information. So it interacts with Google Play, gets all the information and just uh, returns it, returns the information. So this was a brief overview of Google Play in app billing. Again, it has uh, gives you ability to uh, it gives you ability to sell digital contents right from your app, and it's very powerful. And uh, it's uh, you can uh, you can set up uh, products on Google Play and sell it directly from your application. If you're interested about Google Play in app billing or to have the Google Play in-app billing or interested about AI2 Live complete, you can go to my website here, amarkashi.wordpress.com. Once there, you can follow the links that are down here at the bottom of the blog posting and it will provide you information. Thank you.